Hey guys. Why aren't you at the party? Huh? The pool party? The one Miriam's putting on for you? Miriam? She's the blonde one, right? Parties aren't really my thing. See you guys. Nice board. Nice pecs. Nice attitude. Hey, Em. Um... Oh, hey, Byron. What's all this about? Don't be stupid. There's nothing going on. Byron, forget it. I feel a bit guilty just hanging around. Thanks, Mum, but I really want to do this on my own. I am so proud of you, sweetheart, and I know your dad is too. And I think tonight's party is going to be one that we remember for a very, very long time. Mm. I can't stop thinking about what that old woman said. Beware the full moon. We're mermaids, not werewolves. Althea, I'm so glad you could come. Hi, Grandma, you look gorgeous tonight. So do you, sweetheart. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Cool, you got the spa going. How's the water? Come over here and I'll show you. Come closer, Byron. Come closer. Stop right there. I'm cool. Interesting party. See you later, Byron. I like where this party's going. We need to get her to her bedroom and lock her in. We can't exactly take her past everyone on a sun lounge. We could use this. Rather tasteless humour. Cleo, good to see you too. about the interruption before Byron. So am I. There's no one here to interrupt us anymore. Why don't you come closer? <coughs> Another boy. And the worst thing is, not knowing exactly what I did. Oh, and it's probably best you don't know. Hey, Emma. Thanks for last night. Just want to say you're the world's best lips. <coughs> See ya. Lips? My lips? What's he talking about? Guys! Guys! You were the swimming star until you quit. Which, by the way, is a complete mystery to me. You're like this quality skateboard that's just sitting in the cupboard. I've always thought of her the same way. Sorry. Not listening. I need you to teach me how to beat Zane. To give me that killer instinct. But 
temporarily. I don't want to be hooked on winning on a permanent basis. So will you help me? Sorry, Byron. I'm not into that whole competitive thing anymore. It was a former life. I can't. It's cool. I understand. What are you doing here? I've been thinking. Maybe I shouldn't have compared you to a skateboard. I didn't mean anything. You weren't that wrong. I feel like I'm sitting in a cupboard sometimes. It's been spinning me out. Wondering why you can't swim anymore and why you can't help me. And it came to me, you can't get wet. Who told you? You have swimmers here, you know, ear infection. Either that or you don't like me that much. But if that was the case, I'd be kind of sad. I hope I'm not interrupting. Mrs. Gilbert from my dad. He bought it for his girlfriend, Candy, but anything more complicated than picking up a phone and ordering a pizza is beyond her skills. For your mum. She'll love it. What's going on here? Nothing. Right. The race. You're not getting tips from the old swim champ, are you? You are. <laughs> Waste of time, Byron. She can't help you. You'll never win. Not while I'm around. I've changed my mind. I will be your coach. I'm going to turn you into a swimming machine. Cool. One condition. This has to be our secret. No one can know, especially not Cleo and Ricky. You're late. I am? 15 minutes. You would never believe what happens. No, I expect you to be on time. Sure thing, coach. Okay, let's start with 20 laps. Right now. Usually I like to have a bit of a stretch first, and then a bit of a float, and then seven or eight laps tops. Those days are over. Your time starts now. I was flying. I must have shaved three or four seconds of my best. You hesitate when you hit the wall. You've got to forget it's there. Keep swimming. Try and hit it hard. I need to know about your diet. What do you eat? Potato chips, corn chips, packet food. That's going to have to change. What are you two doing here? We rang, you didn't answer. You seem kind of tense. Me? No. Okay, so I wanted to run an idea past you about Lewis. Awesome shower. This must be mine. See you at the pool. There is an explanation. You've been training for ages and you haven't improved one bit. All I can do is my best. No point stressing about it. That's the point. You have to stress if you're going to be a winner. But if you want to be a loser all your life, then I'm not interested in helping you. Maybe we should take a break and go get an ice cream. Typical. Every time it gets tough, you want to have a rest or a drink or an ice cream. Not this time. Back in the pool, 20 laps. I'm finished for the day. You can't be finished until I say so. I thought this was going to be fun. Us working together? I thought you were going to inspire me. But you let me down, man. I never thought you were going to turn into some heavy training dragon. A lot slower than yesterday, but you're kicking much better.
Finding in every wave. So I've been thinking, rather than just obsessing on winning, maybe you should concentrate on whatever feels right. I like it. The Zen approach. Getting on the same level now. Great, so how about a few more laps? I think I need a rest. I'm seriously pooped. Okay, that's good too. I really need to apologise for saying what I did. This is the fifth time you've said sorry. <laughs> I forgave you the first time. I know you seem tough, but you're easily hurt. How do you know that? I really enjoyed training today. So did I. Look, Byron, I'm not an ordinary girl. I know that. I'm glad again, aren't I? You wouldn't believe what happened. We need to talk. This nice policy isn't working. I thought we were cooking. The funny thing is, I like how you chilled out and laid back. But it isn't going to win races. If you want me to be your coach, I'm going to have to get tough again. I want you to be my coach. I believe you can win if you push yourself. Working on your breathing technique. We were just talking. Yeah, right. Up for a race, Byron? He isn't interested. Yes, I am. Byron, don't do this. You're not ready. I'm always ready. When you're feeling good and relaxed, it's cool. You can win. That's my motto. Ready when you are. You're dead meat, Byron. Emma? Hello, Byron. How lovely to see you. Come in. I'll just, uh, leave you to it. Yell at me if you want to. Keep me some laps until my skin wrinkles up. Whatever it takes. I told you not to race. You should have listened to me. You've given Zane a huge psychological advantage. Okay, I'll listen from now on. I'm finished with it. It's not gonna work. Too many conflicts of interest. What conflicts? We crossed the line. Serious competitors don't usually kiss their coaches. Well, coaches don't usually kiss back unless they want to. Maybe I was feeling sorry for you. Or maybe I was just feeling sorry for you. It's times like these when you really see what people are made of. You sure do. I don't want you as my coach anymore. You're fired. Good. That was extreme. Are you okay? like your coach isn't coming. Cheer up. Some people are just born to come second. Set.
did what he told me about hitting the wall as hard as I could. I imagined there was this door I was going through. And I just went for it. And it really worked, Dad. No, stay back. I knew you could win. You just needed to be fired up. I was. Is that what you did? Plan the fight so that I'd get angry enough to win? Of course not. So, I guess we're just like colleagues then, or whatever that means. And we're friends. We're friends. Thanks for helping me. I have to promise to stick to one rule. No early finishing. Don't want people saying I laid some curfew on you. We can manage that. Good. Then go for it. Cool idea having it here. Yeah should make it a lot easier to organise the drinks and the music and the security, which should free up some time for me to help with food and the lighting. It's a lot of organising. Yeah, whatever it takes. I'm going to make sure this is the best chance ever. Nothing's going to get in my way. Everyone who goes is going to have the best time. Cool. So, are you going? Don't see how I couldn't with all the work you're doing. So I'll see you there. What's wrong with you? Why didn't you ask him to the dance? The guy asks the girl. That's how it works. Um, welcome to the 21st century. I don't have time to worry about it anyway. This dance is the last time our whole class is going to be together for the rest of the year. And anyway, I'm not letting anyone get away with anything. I'm not even sure I want to go to the dance. Okay, so will it be board games or card games? At least someone's having fun. Cool dance. It's going great. I can ask you to come with me. You were gonna ask me? Sure. But then you said how great you wanted to be and how much work you had to do and nothing was gonna get in your way. So I took a hint. That wasn't a hint. It wasn't. I was trying to convince you how great the dance would be so you'd ask me. Right. I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. I'm not embarrassed. Look hot. I'll go get you a drink then. Obviously, the formula only reacts with our human skin. Now that we're mermaids, it doesn't affect us. And that helps us how? Just as Byron was about to make a move. Really? That's fantastic. Yeah, and then I turned into a tomato pizza and ran out on him. At least your guy's showing an interest. Em, you might want to know that Byron's still at the dance. He's, he's waiting to see whether you come back or not. Not anymore, he won't. He'll be walking Miriam home. If he asked to go to the dance, he'd feel responsible for her. But he didn't ask her, she asked him. Tiffany told me between handstands. Do we keep sticking around, or...? This is getting late. 